All right, so it's been a couple of days. Uh, actually, it's been about a week. Couldn't do anything on my day off to the car because I was actually waiting for a part. And I'll show you what's going on or what's up, what I found. Uh, yeah, I'll show you, all right? So this is the ECU that was originally in my car um, that the resistors burnt out when I did open it. Or not the resistors, but pieces of the, the ECU or the motherboard kind of shorted. Um, reason why there was no spark and then when I would get spark it would be intermittent uh, as I'd be driving this is the ECU I tried and I received spark but when I did research on this found out that this is actually an OBD1 ECU my vehicle is or my engine and harness is an OBD2 so that is why I put the timing cover as you can see here put the timing cover and the valve cover back on reassembled everything didn't touch the timing because signals um, like ignition timing signals would be different slightly different on the OBD1 ECU because the OBD1 S14 uses a distributor similar to the S13 which has an external coil therefore I'm gonna say that the reason why it was firing in a different order or not different order but different um, signal reference was because it was for OBD1 so the reason why I didn't do anything because I was I ordered this when I found out that this was actually OBD1 ECU so I ordered this through eBay this is um, somewhat gonna be temporary I just want my car to run um beginning of the year slash end of the year so i actually ordered a as you can see here an ecu from ebay it came all the way from north carolina thank you to the seller i pray to god that this works because i just want my car to start and run um but uh we'll find out uh, shortly so these codes this is a supposedly a 95 OBD2 automatic ECU and this is supposedly a OBD2 uh, manual transmission ECU but um, we shall find out and um, cross my fingers um, I do have some goals for next year and uh, we'll get to that forgot to mention one more thing so um, it's hard to explain this distributor so this actually I think is a the way that Mitsubishi serial number there is that this is an OEM distributor for the S14. <clears throat> kind of a huge shout out to my coworker and fellow drifter slash drifting champion also on Guam, Von Burrell for allowing me to, um, to buy this off of you because I really don't trust that Rock Auto uh, uh, distributor and we're gonna pull that off and uh, replace it with this one thank you very much Vaughn all right so I put in the distributor I got from my friend Vaughn uh, I put in the ECU that's an OBD2 ECU that I ordered from eBay put in the battery and we're just gonna fire it up I'm not gonna test for spark because the person that usually helps me out or you know my support none of them are well my brothers crashed out and um, the rest of my support is kind of gone that's why it's really standalone so we're gonna go ahead and try to fire it up and we'll see what happens cross my fingers this a little bit. Uh, 
Okay, so as you can see there, um, that smoking is coming from the new exhaust manifold gasket. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of freaked me out. But um, I need to do some adjusting. When I'm looking at my air free ratios, it's showing that it's rich, meaning there's not enough um, air. So I was trying to adjust my uh, airflow controller, and uh, it was helping a little bit, but. Um, yeah, I think it needs to I need to put my ignition timing a little bit more and then we can see from there. But I also need to see my where my my actual timing is at right now because it sounds a lot better than that first try with OBD1 ECU. Um, it doesn't sound like I have to make too much of a crazy adjustment. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, reset the timing or my um, crankshaft to get it to TDC and then adjust my distributor from there yeah all right here we go as you can see I got, got it to idle on its own um, there's still no cooling system so I'm not gonna leave it running for a very long time I made some adjustments to the throttle body so it can idle um, air free ratio gauge is at 13.7 which is about all right idling at 600 uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut her down looks like my oil pressure is pretty good uh, still warming up but um, yeah boost gauge working everything is somewhat working so um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video or maybe um, probably just go into the next um, install which is probably gonna be the radiator and the fans but um, yeah, it's fucking running guys. It's running. We're gonna shut it off because uh, I don't want it to overheat. Yeah. All right, so now that we got the car running, now we went on and keep it cool. I got my Koyo radiator, my ISR electric fans, and my ISR uh, cooling hoses. Radiator hoses, radiator hoses. Um, so, took out the clutch fan, took out the original EC electric fan. And I'm gonna go and do a little trick so I can wire up my fans. I'm not gonna say how I did it, but how I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna wire up my fans so that way when I turn on the ignition, it turns on. All right, so I pulled out the fans. I did my little thing for to wire up the electric fans. I'm not gonna say how I did it, but I did it. So I put out the my ISO fans here electric fans and then um, I want to see the orientation of how it's going to mount onto the radiator 
and I didn't really like the way the wires were facing so actually I'm going to flip the fans so that way the, uh, the wires are a little bit more accessible because I'm going to run the wires this way so we're going to do that no, only portrait with the angels fear to go but you keep trying to get too close save myself by turning into stone so save your judgment because you just don't know but some things never change never change oh they say i should feel guilty and change my ways leaving crumple bodies in my wakes where all right, so I got the, wall, the fans wired up and um, reoriented to the way I want it. Um, I'm going to put the battery and we're going to go ahead and test and see if the fans move in the right direction and if they both actually operate when the key's on, on uh, ACC or on. So there you got it. Uh, car is running. Uh, radiators in. Fans are wired up. Um, the when I was speeding the cooling system, the I don't know if that's how it is. It's reacting because of the thermostat. Well, there is a there is a, a small leak. It's coming from a bypass the bypass cap that I put on. I think it did cut a hole. When I was grinding the cooling cord on the throttle body, so uh, I need to go replace that. But um, that's it for now. Um, shit. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, be safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And uh, continue social distance. And I'll uh, catch you next time. Peace. Oh,